If you are a longtime Sims player like me, you probably recognize the Sim on the screen right here. This is one of the plethora of Sims 4 base game Sims or Max's based Sims that EA has given us that we can use to practically make our own Sims, right? And I saw this girl on YouTube. Her name is Eliandra, and she practically did a trend of taking all of the base game Max's Sims and turning them into her own Sims. And I was like, hey, why? don't i do that for myself so for me i am a sims 4 royal youtuber or whatever you want to call it so i practically took her idea and transformed a bunch of the ea pre set sims into nobles royals all of that right so if you're interested in that keep on watching so for me the technique i always do in order to make my sims is that i remove everything ea about them i remove the hair i remove the face details i remove the makeup goodness gracious the makeup that shoddy had on her face was atrocious and and so what I do next is I make sure they have a very beautiful Sims 4 skin overlay. I typically use the one by Northern Siberia. Her face overlays always eat. And typically everybody, when I make them, they have to have a hairline. I don't care. My Sims will have hairlines. No one will tell me anything they need to have a hairline and so what i do after that is then i start adding the little face details in order to make them look unique for this sim right here i decided to give her a very beautiful um, nose contour in order to really snatch her face up and i also decided to give her moles because i promised myself in 2024 that i'll do little stuff like that just so my sims can have a little bit of you know a genesis quad to them something that is unique because we as humans we actually have unique features on our face so my sim should have the same situation going on right right and so i just went through the process of trying to find different eye colors for her because her eyes are blue in the preset thing but i wanted to make sure that it was as unique as possible, you feel me? And so you're practically seeing me use a plethora of my face details to give her a natural glow and just overall add different details to her face that just accentuate her beauty. I really feel like me adding the little dots underneath her eyes really added something special to her because I don't see a lot of Sims with that face detail at all. And so I'm literally just going through the plethora of different things that I have in my game. You see, guys, I have so many skin details. <laughs> I literally just have so many skin details. And I'm just doing what I can in order to make her look unique. So the next thing that I really wanted to tackle was her hair. I was so lost on what I wanted to do for her hair. As you can see, I'm going through a lot of different afrocentric hair textures but i was so confused if i wanted to keep her hair texture or if i wanted to try something else so i'm literally struggling to find a cute hairstyle that comes in orange because for a lot of cc creators that make good afrocentric hair hairs I was, <laughs> I was gonna say hair tights but it's literally just hairs um they don't have a good variety of colors which is extremely upsetting when you have a sim with a unique hair color even though orange or red is not a unique hair color as you can see originally i was going to go for a cute beaded look but i was like if i'm going for a noble slash royal situation you won't really see that in the field like you don't see a lot of nobles with hair beads or something like that so i was like okay i have to scrap that idea and try something else you see that gigantic hair i really wanted to give her that but i was like this is too huge so then at a certain point i found this hairstyle and this hairstyle was literally chosen by me um literally in the first round but i was like i have to come back to my roots this right here was my favorite part of making this sim because i really feel like makeup really makes a sim well actually the face details really make a sim but still um it was overall a great time for me i was really trying to be subtle with her makeup because you know nobles and royals they always go for less extreme makeup unless they're doing some type of like 
masquerade ball or some type of big event so i was literally trying to do my best and be subtle so that's what i ended up doing for the eyeshadow as well as the rest of her details something that i do for almost all of my sims is that i make sure that they have a lip liner you see that guys the lip liner combo is an unmatched combo. When I do my own makeup, I also do the same thing. So I wanted to make sure that this sim right here exemplified that technique. I also made sure that her jewelry matched her overall aesthetic. I wanted to make sure that when I was doing this, I tried as hard as possible to keep the original color scheme of the outfits. That way that these sims could be true to themselves. So as you see, her stuff came in a white top, blue pants, and red shoes. So I literally tried my hardest to make that aesthetic match. I personally feel like EA did such a good job with the color scheme because when you look from her eyes to her skirts and her accessories it's just a plethora of blue like an ocean of blue and overall i was so happy with how everything turned out i was kind of scared that when i remade everything it wouldn't look aesthetically pleasing but you cannot tell me this young lady right here does not look like a member of nobility the jewelry the subtlety everything i was just so happy with myself i was like emma you did a great job here so i wanted to at least give her two outfits you see the first outfit looks very much like her og outfit but if you know anything about nobles you know they have at least one formal wear so i was like hey let me give her something that she can wear to a ball and this is the dress that i ended up deciding on it's so beautiful. It's so delicate. It reminds me a lot of Daphne Bridgerton from the show Bridgerton. And yeah, guys, look. I'm overall just giving her um, a couple of things to just fill up the look. Um, for me, when I do my sims, I always add the face detail tattoos of the shadow and the nose contour thing i know people hate that when i posted my sims 4 tiktoks and i showed y'all that i did that i had so many comments like the shadow is too much the shadow is too much but guys i feel like it adds a lot of depth to my sims faces and it gives them a bunch of realism here i am doing a cute little turny turn so y'all can see what the front and the back look like but then i was like man her hair is looking way too plain. Nobles always have extra money. And so I was like, let me give her a cute little hair accessory. And boom, this is what I finally decided on. Now I'm going to give y'all a little turny turn on the casual outfit. And y'all have to admit, I ate this look bad i'm practically trying to give her a couple of extra things so that i can upload her on the gallery for you guys and i decided that her name is going to be lady cecile whitley so this right here is the original sim and now we can finally see how the final product looked like in comparison. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought of my royal makeover. Well, more like noble makeover. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.